I don't know, dude. I think it's pretty good uh, for what it is, for like an alpha. Like, uh, I mean, obviously the game has like, if I had to guess right now, I mean, we're probably looking at another, I mean, this game might be two, three years, who knows, right? Like this game's got a ways out. Um, I just have no idea, right? Like I've only, I've only played for a few hours, but it definitely, it definitely needs more time. Um, here, I'll talk about it a little bit here. Um, okay, so just uh, gonna give you guys some thoughts, kind of a, a little bit of a recap. <sighs> Lavable six plus years in development. I, I just don't think you guys understand, like the people that are like saying stuff like that, I don't think you guys understand how game dev works like at all. Especially not for like an MMO. MMOs take a very, very, very long time to develop. Like it takes it takes a very very long time. This isn't like Madden, you know, where like it comes out every week. It's just, it's just not how it works. Throne and Liberty took twelve years. Yeah, like it's been different like eight years. Yeah, that's not twelve. That's not fifteen. Like MMOs are MMOs take a long long time to develop. Like a major studio takes six to eight. Yeah, I mean this is their first game. They're building out a new engine. Like this is a long project. Riot Riot MMO will likely also be what. 20, like everybody's saying like maybe 2030. Nobody knows, right? Because it takes forever. And Riot was going one direction with the MMO and they decided to like reset. And they're like, we don't want to do that. And then that's whenever Ghost Crawler and, uh, and them decided to leave. And they're like, well, we're going to make our own MMO. We're going to do that. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Look at this. It's raining. Look at this. It's raining. And when you hit the light just right, Rainbow. That's pretty cool. That's wild. $250 rainbow. Anyway, uh, I would say so far having, uh, I, I mean, I, I haven't really like touched Ashes since, uh, since the Alpha 1 test. I played it for like one day. And uh, I remember how I felt leaving the Ashes test. I was like, that was okay. Wait and see. That's Alpha 1, right? And, and I haven't done any of the NDA stuff. I haven't, I wasn't really playing then, uh, any of that, right? Uh, what I was doing, dude, look at the light. Dude, actually, dude, the lighting is it's insane. Like the, the ray trace lighting and stuff is actually crazy. With the light shafts, anyway. Um, I've, I've been so busy, I've been doing my own stuff. I was like, I'll play it again whenever it goes off of NDA. I don't remember the combat being as fun as it is, for sure. I definitely don't remember the combat being as fun as it is. I don't remember feeling like particularly good at the end of the session. I was like, I was like, okay, that was cool. That was whatever. But this, I'm like, yeah, I would actually probably consider playing this on Sunday. Like that was, I had fun doing that. That was enjoyable. Uh, obviously the game is nowhere close to ready, right? Like graphics, you know, I've, everyone knows the graphics are, needs a little bit of work, but it's not so much about the graphics. Like you saw like the lighting is amazing, right? The, the way they do the light shafts and the ray tracing, like, beautiful. Even even these, uh, even just building out this like, I mean, just look at this. This looks amazing. Look at this mountain, right? The way they have some stuff set up, it looks really good. Now, my issue with it is it's about the art style. Like, I, I think there's nothing that really like, you look at this and you're like, that's ashes. That's ashes of creation. And, and you don't really have that. Whereas you have that with WoW, you have that with Final Fantasy XIV. It, it's just, it's missing something, but I don't know what. That's kind of what my issue is with it. Having something that kind of makes it more of a distinct. Yeah, but make, I'm make... a jackass. And all I can do is focus on the horse for some reason. <laughs> it doesn't move. Why is that? It's a horse. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy how dumb people are, man. But, uh, but yeah, so uh, I think graphics need to work. I think the UI is pretty rough. Uh, now again, this is alpha, so these are things that it's like, yeah, obviously these things are gonna be rough, but I'm just pointing out some things that I noticed. Uh, uh, the UI is pretty rough. It's hard to keep track of a lot of the UI elements, like where's my party? Where do I go to turn in a quest? How do I follow along with stuff? Uh, the map in general needs a lot of work, I think. Uh, I kind of feel a little bit aimless at times, not so much because of, I don't know. It's not like, it's, it's a difference between not knowing what to do and like not feeling like I can't find out what to do. That happened a couple times, just like trying to decipher the map. Like supposedly, what, so what happened with Soda? Soda just like rage quit because he couldn't figure out the map. Is that what it was? 
Which, which I, I mean, I actually totally, I didn't do that, but I totally believe that it happened because I, I, I was like. Read, bro. I have read. I visited the Ember Spring. I should return to an official. Where the fuck is an official? I don't fucking know. Deliver cargo to the storage clerk at any crossroads or higher level node. I don't know what the fuck a node is. I have no fucking idea. I don't know what any of these icons on the minimap are. I thought these books requests, they're not. Then I thought these silver box requests, they're not. I don't know what the fuck they are. There's no, I, I don't know what the fuck to do. I look at the map, I look for little highlighted yellow circles. I found one, I did it, now they're gone. Now what? I don't know what the fuck's happening. And I don't know if it's me or if the game's just fucking desyncing. I got no clue. It's too late in the day. I'm done streaming for the day. That's it. Uh, I will be on tomorrow for Saturday. Someone else will play it and figure everything out. It's early access. Alf, not even, not even early access. I was feeling the same way. I'm like, I can't figure out where the quests are. I can't figure out. I, I see it, but like, I just can't. It's just a mess, right? Uh, he didn't know where the quest. Well, I mean, the quest. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like the quests are right there, but at the same time, you read the quest, and it's like, I, it's, just, it's just kind of a mess, right? Uh, Rage Pool. I mean, he probably was just like hamming it up because it's, you know, he's just streaming. Um. I really like the drum bug. That's what set this game over the edge for me. That's what made this game fun. The drum bug. Talk to a Kalar official. Oh, what the hell? So, The drum bug was phenomenal. Very good, very good. Yeah, I mean, I think the big thing for people to understand with this, it's like, uh, I don't know if this game's gonna be good. And, and if we just look at like the track record of MMOs over the course of the last like 20 years, if you go by the numbers, this game's probably not going to be good, right? As as you could say about almost every MMO, just looking at the numbers. But playing Alpha 2, the one thing that really stood out to me is I had fun. And I started having fun whenever we went to go fight higher level stuff and I felt like actually using my my ability I was actually using my abilities and I was coming up with combos and uh, I was like, "Oh, I could do this and then this," right? I could twist my drums and get this big massive thing, right? It's funny. But um, that's whenever it really, that's, that's really whenever it felt like I started to enjoy it. Whereas the first couple hours I felt a little bit aimless, like, okay, where'd I go? What'd I do? It was a lot of fun. And yeah, I, I think there is, a, I, I think you're absolutely right. I think there is a fine line between having your hand held through an MMO and, and you, get, you get put on a track versus, hey, instead of being on like, on like rails the whole time, just, just you're out in a field, you know? You're out in a field and you're like, hey, you know, what, you know, what do I do? But at least you have like some kind of an area, like it's in this area. And if it, that, that was kind of like the, uh, that, that was kind of like the issue, you know? To be honest, game looks so bad, it's insane. I, I don't know why people say that. Like, I, 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 I can't can figure it out. Can you start again? Smile. I, th like, I mean, it's the, the way, what games do you guys play? It has to be trolls. It looks like an MMO from 2008. No, it really doesn't. Like, they heard somebody else say it. I mean, here's the thing, by the way, this is what you're gonna get. At the end of the day, and, and I'm just being completely honest, I'm gonna tell you how I feel about games, especially like MMOs. I'm particularly passionate about MMOs. I'm particularly passionate about RPGs, right? So, I'm gonna tell you how I feel. And a lot of times, Listen. I don't know why it's bad either, but it's just so ass, you know? I can't say why. I really can't. It just is. I have no background in game development, by the way. <laughs> right, exactly. Um, you're very nice, though. That's the thing. You can critique something while doing it, like, in a nice way. I don't have to be like, oh, this is so ugly. This is so dog shit. This sucks. This sucks. You know, like, I'll be honest with you. That's not even being honest, man. Like when, if, if I were to do that to farm pleb points and to, to appease a bunch of like the lowest common denominator, that's shitty, that's fake, that's fake as hell, right? I'm not gonna do that. I'm just, I'm gonna tell you guys like how I feel about it, right? But it's, it's always going to be more popular to shit on something and to make something out to be as bad as possible than it is to be looking at something even keel and making an honest analysis. Why? Because it's simply more entertaining. And that's the truth, right? People, people want, a he they, they want to hear the polarizing take. They want to hear, this sucks, this is bad. Oh, this is amazing. They don't want to hear, hey, this is pretty good and this is why. 
I'm going to tell you like it is. And I'm, and I'm just going to be honest about it. Why? Because it, it just feels like there's not enough people doing that. And also, that's who I am, right? But like whenever I look around, there's there's really not a whole lot of people doing that anymore. Compared to the level of hype that this game has gotten, it makes sense why people think this. But in realty, it doesn't look that bad. It just doesn't seem revolutionary compared to all the unique gameplay mechanics they have in the game. Oh, no, I 100% agree with that. Hardo. Yeah, no, I mean, I completely agree with that. But it's alpha, right? No, I, I mean, I think I think most people would completely, completely agree with that. Um, but it's alpha, right? So it's like, Baldur's Gate sold early access from alpha well into development, became game of the year. You need to calm down. Yeah. And again, just by the numbers, this game probably, by the numbers, looking at MMOs that like pop off, it's probably not going to be super good, right? I mean, that's just, a, the, you know, just looking at the statistics. But I know this much is that I had fun playing it today, right? And uh, I hope it is good because the more good MMOs there are out there, the more uh, the genre gets bolstered and stays live longer. Because, I mean, I love MMOs. I, I grew up playing MMOs. That was the main game that I played. I don't know why it's bad either. I think it's because there is no fucking locker room. See, I fucking love locker room. <laughs> yeah, locker room seafood. True. I enjoyed it. I like watching it more than wow. I thought the graphics look good. A little blurry. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it needs a little work, right? I, I think the big thing is the direction of the art style. I, I would like to see something that, like, I look at it and I'm like, that's ashes. Yeah, that's ashes. That's what I need to see. How would you suggest them to get a better style going? Well, and that's the thing. That's, uh, unfortunately, I don't really have the suggestion there. Uh, I wish I did, but, but I, I haven't. I, I don't have an answer. But I, I just think the game needs something to make it really feel like this is ashes of creation. It sets it apart. Uh, because I think going with the, the art direction of like a more realistic gritty style of game It's a little bit harder because that's what a lot of people do especially like you know unreal engine it like It kind of looks like hey, this is unreal engine 5 MMO You know I completely agree with art style. I wish it popped more had more character. Yeah, I know exactly. What's up silver veil? That's what it's I think it's the character models don't stand out as much either. Yeah, but they look here's the thing very high fidelity like we looked at them up close like they look good Right, but they don't they don't look unique, and I think that's what matters a lot. A lot of us are tired of it's just alpha as an excuse. How many MMOs have said it's just alpha, it'll get better, and it never does? The devs overhyped the shit out of the game, and now we see the first look of actual gameplay, and it's nothing like advertised. Uh, how's it nothing like advertised though? Like I, I get what you're saying, but like they specifically said this is like a server like. Te technical test ability thing like it's, it's exactly what, what they advertised Visual identity is paramount Valheim not great graphics, but one screenshot You know what it is the tone yeah. and vibe is also communicated Most MMO alphas are already completed games being ported from Korea true. Did you get any DC during the whole playtime? I didn't but some of the other guys we were playing with did uh, That one so I think overall it's pretty good. So uh, I think the game will do well, but it's not going to feed the MMO community. Well, yeah, I mean, the truth is, a lot of the MMO community, just, they're not going to get fed ever. Because they, because they they want the too much, and they're chasing something that me. doesn't exist. If you do unique graphics, style, and the world design is good, that's all that matter. Like Grizzly Hills in Roth is a good example of a zone that will always look good. Yeah, true. Uh, now, I hope that's not the case. But I, but I think it probably is, right? There's probably a portion of the MMO community that will never have that, like, what they're looking for because they're, they're... Merry Christmas. They can't get past their own, like, negativity about something. Now, don't get me wrong, right? A lot of you guys have watched me for years, and you know that I, I will be... I will be as critical as it gets about something. But I'm also not an idiot. And, and, I, and I'm... Even though, like, I, I roleplay and I put on the show... I, I don't I don't do performative bullshit, right? Like I, I just I don't do that well. I can't I can't act like I'm I can't act like something is something that it's not. It just it feels too inauthentic to me and it makes me uncomfortable, right? I think that the game has potential. I don't know I don't know if it's if it's gonna be the guy. I, like you don't know. And I'm I ha this is something I am very very like I believe in a lot. Something I believe in a lot is when you're critiquing something, when you're giving feedback on something. You want to attack the points that are 
Uh, you want to attack the most amount of legitimate points as possible because every time you give feedback on something, every time you complain about something, every time you critique something, these are cooldowns. You're burning cooldowns. Because people, people only can listen to a certain amount. They can only listen to so much before they tune you out. So like, if you're trying to critique something and say, hey, this is bad, you need to be like precise on what you're giving feedback on and why. Because if something is like, oh, this sucks, oh, this is bad, and then you, you, you don't really expand on it, you're, it's like, it's just, you're muddying the water, you're clouding things up, right? It turns into a mess, and then, and then the good feedback falls by the wayside. But yeah, that's, that's how I feel about Ashes so far. Uh, I think that, that uh, uh, there's potential there. I think that it still needs a lot of work. Uh, and I actually did have fun. Uh, I, I really had fun jumping around and using my abilities and playing the bard. Um, that was cool. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed Astro Creation. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed Astro Creation. Uh, like I said, I had a lot of fun playing it the first day. I think the game needs a lot of work. I think the game needs a whole lot of work before it's ready to go. But it's just Alpha 2. In this phase of Alpha testing, they're going to they're gonna crank it up every weekend and do different things. Uh, they said at least for this part of the phase, they're not really focused on the content too much, more so than, than server stability. So, uh, yeah, I had fun. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if there's anything specific that you guys would like to see me try and test out, or uh, if you have specific opinions on, like, or sorry, if you have specific questions on, uh, let me know. Leave a comment. Uh, yeah, I'll try and test it out in game. I'll let you know what I think. I'll talk about it on stream. And uh, if you're new here, I'd appreciate it if you guys would sub to the channel. Uh, there's a lot of new things happening here on the channel. Uh, I stream primarily on Twitch, but I've also started multi-streaming on YouTube. The reason for that is so that there can be a VOD archive forever. Um, yeah, there's gonna be a VOD archive forever, so you can click on the live tab and you can go check out whole VODs, which is cool. And uh, I also stream on, uh, I stream on Twitter as well, X. Uh, whatever, whatever you want to call it. So, uh, yeah. So everything is SFAN TV, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Discord, Reddit, uh, TikTok, uh, Blue Sky. Everything is SFAN TV. And then I have two new YouTube channels called SFAN Daily and Coach SFAN. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Also hit the bell and like the video and leave a comment. Please, I'm begging you. Please.